Want to be an unstoppable killing machine in Middle Earth Shadow of War? Well, I got some combat tips and tricks for you in this video, so like that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go! In Middle Earth Shadow of War, the combat preparation is almost as important as the fight itself. When fighting a special enemy, it's always handy to look up their weak spots before the fight has begun, but you can even do it while fighting by just dominating an orc that has the intel to get the upper hand on your enemy. Especially when enemies are heavily damaged against something it's extremely powerful to take advantage of that. It can make an enemy that first looks unbeatable into an easy target. One of the weak spots could be weak against fire, but also weak against stealth attacks. But even if the enemy doesn't take a huge amount of damage from a stealth attack, it's still worth it to sneak up to him and get in some early damage. Otherwise you would just walk up to him, so this is a way better way to start the fight. Not only on the ground, but also from above. Something that is even easier to pull off in the many Ford assaults by just going from the roof, finding your target and then just jump up to him. The next tip is nice for during fights, but it is something you can do before you start a fight and that is bring in a bodyguard. After you recruited an orc, you can put them as your bodyguard and summon them at all times. You'll find out that every region has their own bodyguard, so you have to chase enemies and think, oh, I want to recruit that one, get them as a bodyguard in every region, but it's totally worth it. Not only because they deal damage against enemies, but also they gain attention from the captain so you can just hit them without being interrupted. Bringing a cool looking bodyguard is one thing, but it's even smarter to bring in bodyguards with an advantage against the target you want to kill. If your bodyguard for example shoots fire arrows, then it's even easier to take out enemies that are weak against fire. Bodyguards are also extremely important in the palaces where you fight against the overlords, because while your other captains that fight in your fort assault can't go inside, the bodyguard can. So totally choose your bodyguard carefully when fighting an overlord. So using the weak spots of the enemy, using your bodyguard, then you can break your target easily. And even when you're planning to kill them to get some sweet sweet loot, it's still smart to dominate them just to get your health back up and then choose fight till death. It's mostly a really fast dominate as well, so just good to do while fighting. If you didn't break your target yet, but you are in need of some health, then dominating is the way to go. Sadly, it's hard to do while surrounded by a lot of orcs, so the smartest thing to do is to retreat a little bit, find for example a roof where one archer is standing, and try to get their life. This way you will not be interrupted by all the enemies surrounding you and you can just easily dominate him. No archers around? Well then orcs on the ground away from the fight can also be handy to get some quick health because they don't see you so you can easily dominate them. Getting away from the crown to get an easy domination this also helps against fighting an overlord in a palace. Shadow strike with a stun to an enemy, dominate them and you are good to get back into the fight. If there are multiple archers in a palace I make sure that I position myself so that the archer that I'm dominating blocks all the incoming arrows. This helps for me, so totally try that yourself. While it's handy to use to run away, pinning a target by shooting it in the leg with a free spin skill is also great for fighting against a captain. Simply because you can land a lot of normal attacks afterwards or use it to charge up your spectral glaive with the deadly strike upgrade to do a lot of damage and keep the other enemies away from you. The best part is that you can repeat this. After your combo, you can just shoot it again in the lag to reuse this tactic. Hope this helps because it helped me a lot becoming a killing machine in middle of Shadow of War. Subscribe to stay up to date on way more Shadow of War content. Check out my videos that are on the channel already. For example, where I showed you the awesome Vengeance Armor and the Bright Lord set. Like this video to support the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.